of all of the activities that take place in care homes for the elderly, the only activities that get to everybody, that include every single person, is music activities. Um, and so that's what we do. The charity was started in 1948 and we provide live music for people in healthcare. And that, uh, that means venues from special needs schools for children, through hospitals, hospices, care homes, to very specialist dementia units and stroke units on the other hand. Last year we did a little over 2,700 concerts uh, ac across everywhere except Scotland. And over that period we reached out to more than 57,000 people. I went to see a concert in Herefordshire, in a, in a dementia unit actually, and I went there for two reasons. One, because my mother is there, she has Alzheimer's, and secondly, because I wanted to see some musicians that I hadn't seen perform before. The concert started, I was sitting next to my mum, she looked at me, she smiled, she held my hand and she squeezed my hand in time to the music. Five minutes after the uh, live music finished, she would probably have no recollection of it. But I will never forget that particular moment that my mum was looking at me and smiling and was holding my hand and squeezing my hand in time to music. Because that was a bit of my mum that I hadn't seen for a long time. The Royal Star and Garter Homes, our ethos very much is that um, our residents are our number one priority. Um, and I know that Sim Simply Health's ethos is similar, that their customer is their number one priority. So we very much share that um, ethos of commitment to the most important people, really. Music has the ability, um, certain concerts, to really lift people. Um, they can get them in touch with all sorts of feelings. The benefit is for relatives who have come in to see residents and spend time with them. Um, we have volunteers who come in um, to assist with activities and it's really nice for them to sit alongside residents holding their hands, having a little dance, things like that. And if you're standing next to somebody and you can hold their hand and have a little sing-song, that sort of feeling, that, that little bond that you've got with somebody, just for a few seconds almost, will carry on. Well, people remember how they feel. And I think that's important, isn't it? It's not about remembering words or anything like that. It's, it's feelings. There's nothing uh, more rewarding to, uh, to me than, than uh, singing quite close up to somebody who perhaps has um, late stage dementia and um, their eyes come alive and they're mouthing the words with you, you know? Actually, when you come to real people, which you do meet in care homes, you really realise what the music is about. It's not about competition, it's not about playing for famous, for the rich, it's, it's to make people happy, really. And I actually feel very, very privileged, lucky and fulfilled that I'm doing this job. I think I, it can't be better, you know. You can do what you love for a living and you're improving the life of others. Great. One of the things we can't forget, of course, is that in order for us to put on these live music concerts across the country, we need to generate some income. And that income comes from, from the generosity of others. We get nothing from the government, no statutory funding at all. Um, and those contributions are important because without the contribution, we simply couldn't put the concerts on. And so there's a direct link now between the support we get that allows us to put on concerts, that allows then people to engage with their loved ones in a care home setting or a hospital uh, or a special needs schools and they're getting the benefit from this music uh, and they can then see the impact that this live music is having on people who've got illness, disability and frailty.